Good morning, beautiful people. Hope everyone is having an awesome day in quarantine. It's day freaking I don't know what, day six of our daily vlogs. And for today's episode of the daily vlog, I thought we would do a little movie recommendation. This is a question I get a lot on all my social media and I just wanted to answer some of these questions and give you guys some content other than my own if you're looking for some time to kill and you want to watch some good movies. I made a pretty long list because I wanted to give you guys the utmost quality. I thought the best way to break it up would be by genre. Film number one, the genre is going to be the war movie. Half horror, because it kind of slips into the thriller genre. 1917, it won three Oscars. The cinematography in that film is magnifique. It was directed by, okay, now we're gonna break out the computer for this, 1917. Oh boy, this might be harder than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, it was directed by Sam Mendes. The film takes place in a 24 hour period and two soldiers in World War I are given the task that seems impossible. Okay, lo and behold, they go on this task and it's a pretty crazy journey. I'm not gonna say anything else about it. Check it out. I recommend it. Film number one, 1917. Go watch it. Okay, film number two. We got the foreign film genre and we're going with another Oscar winner, multi Oscar winner. Parasite, extremely thrilling. Just the cinematic language, the way they communicate as storytellers and the way the filmmakers all come together to tell the story, it is truly incredible. Let me give a little shout out to the director and the other people. It was directed by Bong Joon-ho. Can't say enough good things about it. Movie number three, moving on. We have Phantom Thread. The genre is drama. Breathtaking, blew me away. I think it won an Oscar a few years back. I'm not positive on that. It's an incredible story. It's got an insane twist at the very end of the film that you will never see coming. It is beautiful. It's about a dressmaker. That being said, if you're not into dresses and you don't have any interest in dresses, it's still an incredible film and 10 out of 10 would recommend. Watch it, come back, leave some comments, let me know what you guys thought. This is one of my favorite films of all time. It's directed by Richard Oyo Oyoade. Yeah. Richard Oyoade. It is submarine, okay? And this is just a beautiful gem of a film. Sort of a coming of age love story. It takes place in the UK, I believe. And it's sort of this extremely awkward, romance, comedy, it's, so, it's a little, it has a little bit of everything. That's what I love about the coming of age genre is that it, generally speaking, includes comedy, drama, and romance. Three things that all come together to make a wonderful film. It's an older film, came out in 2010, definitely worth checking out. Guys, Submarine, check it out, okay? Number six, this genre, we're gonna call it the inspiring documentary genre. Okay, I'm sort of inventing genres as we go here, but so be it. Guys, Free Solo is this incredible film made by um, Jimmy Chin. I'm an extremely huge fan of Alex Honnold. He is a free solo rock climber, which if you don't know, it means you rock climb, but you have no aid. There's no rope, there's no bolts, there's no equipment other than your hands and the shoes on your feet. Guys, I'm telling you right now, you cannot watch this movie without getting crazy sweaty palms because it is so, so intense and so scary. That being said, the inspiration that this film has given me just in terms of life, and it just, the, it shows the journey of one man doing everything he can to to sort of beat the un, un, unbeatable odds. It is such a breathtaking experience. It's maybe the best film on this whole list. If you guys haven't seen Free Solo, I highly recommend it. Go watch Free Solo. 
Coming in number seven, this is gonna be the Tarantino genre. Like I said, guys, we're making up genres to sort of fit all these films in. Just had to throw a Tarantino film in, and I'm throwing his most recent release, film number nine, I wanna say, of 10. We're gonna see if he sticks with that. And that is Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh my goodness, guys, it is incredible. It is so unbelievable what Tarantino does again and again. He does not miss a mark. The guy's incredible. Say what you want about him, but his knowledge of the cinematic language and his ability to communicate, to create drama, tension, to make you laugh, it is just something to be studied and something to be admired for many years to come. Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, Tarantino, what more can I say? It's got an all-star cast. You guys probably already know about it. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Not much else to say. It sort of stands on its own. It speaks for itself. Um, number eight, coming in number eight, we have the road trip genre, Itumama Tambien. Okay, you can watch this one on Netflix. It is a, it's part of the road trip genre. It's a story of two boys that go on a road trip with an older woman and they sort of fall in love and have this very interesting love triangle. It is extremely compelling. There's something really interesting about the storytelling in that film. There's a narrator that includes unnecessary information about the places and people that, they, that these characters pass through. So as you're consuming the film and watching this drama unfold, you're also learning a lot about the culture, the environment, the people that live in this place. So if you haven't already, go watch it to Mama Tambien. Let me know what you guys think about it. Mwah. Guys, I am just serving gold, okay? If you guys aren't subscribed already, can hit that subscriber button. We just hit 900 subs. Couldn't be more grateful. So stoked, so appreciative, so appreciative, that sort of appreciative of every single one of you guys. Guys, when Harry met Sally, uh, go watch it. It is freaking incredible. Guys, 1989, an incredible love story about these two people that do not love each other. And that's the catch, right? That they have no interest in each other whatsoever, yet they find themselves on this journey and they go on this, it sort of falls into the road trip genre as well. Um, maybe that's kind of why I put these two films next to each other. When Harry Met Sally, check it out. Classic 1989 Hollywood film. The film is breathless. It's a bout de souffle is how they say it in French. If you guys haven't seen it and you're a sucker for romance films, boy, this film just gets my heart beating. The soundtrack is incredible. Highly recognized as one of the films that created the jump cut. So you're using the same shot, using the same frame, but you're cutting forward or backward in time, just like this. Pretty sure you can watch it on YouTube. So this one you can find just about anywhere. The first time I watched it, I watched it with a buddy of mine. We were in this, we were in the film theater. I went home and rewatched it on my computer on YouTube the very day. Okay, that was like four hours of breathless in one night. It is an incredible film, love story to the max. Go check it out if you guys haven't. And that's pretty much it for today. Really mellow day. I went surfing this morning with my dad. Crazy stormy weather. I had a little date with Lydia. She asked me out on a TikTok. I said yes. We had a little FaceTime date. That was super fun. If you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're so close to 1,000 subs. Really trying to hit 1K by my birthday, which is on the 7th, coming up. Guys, go watch some films. Let me know what else you guys are watching. Let me know if you guys want me to do a version of TV shows. That could be really fun. I want to hear what you guys think of the films. I want to know. Let me know down in the comments below what films have you seen, what films haven't you seen, what, what films are you guys planning on watching. Um, let me know if I'm wrong, if some of these films suck. Yeah, take care of yourselves. Stay, stay safe out there, wash your hands. Much love. Justin, I will see you guys tomorrow. Thank you so much for coming back Starring. every single day.